All right. Now here's the thing you shouldn't do. Vlog next to the street. Here's another thing you shouldn't do. Cross the street when it's not green. But why did I bring you up here? Mainly to show you the view because this is one of the best views you can get in my opinion but that might only be because I like this street and going down there on my bike I don't have my bike anymore too bad anyway I'm vlogging next to streets today because I want to show you stuff I want to show you stuff that is different here in Bristol than it is back home in Graz or in Austria in general Okay, so the first thing that I recognize or that I uh, found strange when I came to Bristol is these traffic lights for pedestrians. Here, here you go. Like, why are they not on the opposite side mounted like somewhere over there? Somewhere over there. No, they are on the side, not on this side, but on that side. What does it mean? It's always on the side where the cars are coming from like here the cars are coming from there so the traffic lights are here so that you have to look in that direction to check whether or not you can go and then you go by looking there already so if there is a car going by red um, or just quickly want to pass through then uh, you will see them uh, if the uh, traffic lights were mounted over there, I would not see the bus coming from here towards me, right? Th does that make sense? Cool! So that is one thing that, like, it is helpful but also really annoying at times. For instance, if I'm standing here, I mean, now I know that there are cars going and I can't go, but sometimes if there are cars waiting here, like, imagine there were cars waiting here, like it is now here, okay, right? Imagine I'm standing here and there are cars waiting. I have no idea if it's still green for me and I can pass or if it's already red and they will get green soon. If it was mounted over there, I would see it and I could then make uh, the judge, uh, the, make the call if I should go or not, but yeah. It's not, not all pedestrian traffic lights are mounted like this. There are some normal ones or the ones that I'm used to. Um, but it's certainly a thing that's happening here, which is not happening back home. Now let's walk further to more interesting stuff. So this next thing that I'm about to show you is probably my favorite thing about like the Bristol traffic stuff um, that we don't have in Austria. Check that out. So it is red now for pedestrians. Pedestrians still cross because we are in the UK and nobody gives a shit. But cars usually don't go when it's red. So that's also in Austria the case. No one drives if it's red. So now it's red, pedestrians can cross, right. Nothing really interesting about that, but if you have a look at the green man, it starts flashing and it's orange, blinking. And that means that the cars can go as soon as the pedestrians left the crossing. That is really cool because that means that the time that the uh, traffic lights need to be red for the cars is much shorter uh, because in Austria it works like that that it's green for pedestrians then it gets red and then there's still the time for an old lady to cross the road that the cars need to wait until they get a green signal again but here it's like okay it's flashing so if you can go, it just go, but watch out because there might still be people on the street. I think that is a very helpful thing. Like, now it's red for them, now I can cross because it's green for me. But 
soon it will be flashing already. See, so the red face for the cars is very short. Okay, let's go to the next thing I really like. The cycle space. Because like they have cycling lanes on the side, you see them here. But also this space. In front of traffic lights, there's sometimes this space for cyclists and, you know, motorbikes. Um, so that means if it's red, we'll get there soon, um, the cars will stop here. And as a cyclist, I can drive past these cars and then stand on this area here in front. Now, why is that helpful? First of all, you have a clear space to stand, but also if, there, if you need to make a lane change in the upcoming like area, you can already move to the next lane on top there. And I really find that helpful. I bet this guy does too. Now, there's another thing I quite like, which are those areas. They are marked with those like yellow stripes and basically what it means is don't ever stop there like you can go over it like this car just did but in case there's a traffic jam don't stand on that because it blocks the whole uh, crossing um, which makes sense like if they're stuck down there cars on from this side should only go further uh, if they won't stop on the yellow thing and just having it painted on the street I mean it is Austrian law that you cannot go in a crossing when the like in an intersection when uh, you can't get out of it but having that thing reminds you of that and you don't ever want to stand in those and that's a really nice thing I think because they, they have it like everywhere in, in every bigger crossing where you have like not on this side for instance because there are only cars coming from here and from here but if you are on this space you're blocking a lot more um, so they marked it and I think that's interesting and now let's have a look at the traffic lights there are there are pretty many here so they're redundant like they have one, two, three, four, five, just for this one. I can barely imagine, like, in Austria we have three tops. Like, if there's one on the other side as well, three. But this is a lot. But that's not what I want to draw your attention to. I want to draw your attention to the shape, like, from the side. That's what traffic lights look like, right? That's how you remember them. They a normal traffic lights with red orange and green but from the side it looks more like a you know robot thing and also it has those plates in there and that is to direct the light only to where it should be seen the others have it as well. Here the light is directed just over there so that cars coming from here only see the lights that they are supposed to see which are the big ones here. And those have like the normal uh, just shields. The green one is a little bit bigger than the others but those are the, the things that you are used to or that I'm used to, that I would say, yeah, those are traffic lights. Um, and that gets you thinking about that stuff. I, I never thought about that, but if they are missing, it also looks pretty weird. And that made me think about why they are there. So basically they're here to just cover the glass from, you know, rain and stuff. Yeah, it's really, in it's really interesting just what those differences are and how they're better or worse than the system I'm used to. There are also cool examples of 
uh, like where there is a large uh, uh, like pipe thing from the traffic light. It's an extra pipe so that the light is really only directed in that one specific direction. Um, but I couldn't find one of those today. So yeah, I'm only on foot. Um, anyway, I hope that was interesting in some or another way. And yeah, now you can decide in which country you want to be driving. Right, and then you should make it back up. And I'll see you tomorrow.